Hey everybody, this is round one of Mansions of Madness, Cycle of Eternity. I, I started on round zero, so think of it as round two, but it is round one of Mansions of Madness. And here's the setup. We have a butler here in the dining room who was being cornered by this horrible <laughs> beast, which we have killed. Rita single-handedly killed because Rita is our tank <laughs> in this game. But the butler claims that his employer, Mr. Vanderbilt, who has gone missing, is actually locked in the attic by, quote, ruffians, unquote. Don't know who those are yet. But we do know that there's a key to the attic in a uh, secret office that Mr. Vanderbilt keeps to the east of the entrance hall. So that's east. Screen right is east in this scenario. So I guess we need to head that way. And just because Mean is the one who's there, I kind of think she's probably, I mean, she's closest. She literally doesn't have to, she can just, she can just open the door and investigate. So I think that's what we'll do is have, we'll have Mean go up to that door. I mean, I assume it's this one. It, it could be the one upstairs. Which, because there's that, you can kind of see that faint white line here. That means she would have to move to get there. But I don't want to use a movement if I don't have to. So I'm going to have her investigate this door first. And of course, to do that, I switch over to the app that I have running in Steam. Oh, and I need to continue this game. So continue, resume the saved game. Yes, classic Lovecraft quotes from classic Lovecraft stories. Okay, so we have Mean over here on the east side of the house. She's gonna open this door. The door leads to a small front room of the mansion. I think that butler lied to us. No, oh, no, maybe not. The light from the entry shines into the dimly lit office. Perfect. As you open the door, a lamp sits on a large wooden desk, casting long shadows across a mess of papers and books scattered around the room. Discard this explore token and place the office tile. And I want to just emphasize that this is, like I've played this scenario several times, and this is noticeably different than, than I mean, it's a completely different layout of the mansion. And yeah, it's, it's just so cool how repeatable these, these scenarios are. And I don't know that everyone knows that. You don't really hear people talking about how different it is on each playthrough. The desktop under the lamp is cluttered with papers. Place a search token as indicated. Across the room, a bookshelf, no, a bookcase stacked with books and other items stands against one wall. Among the items, you spot something useful. Place the lucky cigarette case, common item, as indicated. An investigator can pick up an item in his space as part of the trade action. Okay, so this lucky cigarette case is actually really, really useful. So I might actually go out of my way to grab that one. I guess I won't read the description till I grab it, but it really is. It's a good one. You may move one space into the explored area. I think I'm going to have her do that. Okay, I think I'll have her, her move in. So, I mean, she can't take any actions here because it's, uh, it was one action to move, to, to, in, to, oh, no, wait. No, it was. It was just one action. She All she did was investigate this door. That was one action. And then she got to move in for free just now. That wasn't an action. So she can look through these papers, or she could move into this space with the lucky cigarette take t case and then not take the case because she wouldn't have the action to expend. So I think I'll just do what kind of the obvious thing is, which is to investigate this little um, this search token. The desk is covered in random clutter with a small space cleared in front of the chair for working. Search. You dig through the dense paperwork, cluttering the desk, looking for anything of interest. This requires a observation test. Mean has a bunch of clue tokens, first of all, so that's good. Uh, and she has four observation die. So... Feeling okay about that, actually. Could could work out. Uh, that's two successes, and then a clue, and uh, a nothing. So I, I think I'll just uh, I think I'll just see what happens if I take the two successes. As you shuffle through the seemingly endless paperwork covering the desk, you spot a weathered journal. 
that looks out of place amidst the mundane clutter. The cover of the journal is marked Lilith Vanderbilt. Uh, Mr. Vanderbilt was a bachelor, but I think he lived with his mother. Is that what... Um, did I, do I remember that correctly? I'm going to go to the, the logs, message log. Um, I swear I remember someone saying he was a bachelor. Oh, this is second session, first session. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was the intro... Oh, and okay, so the Vanderbilt Astronomy Astronomy Association is what it is, and they've that they had in, invites on the table. So I'm imagining those are the ruffians he's referring to. That the butler said that ruffians had kidnapped Vanderbilt, and there are cars and carriages outside. So I mean, they're they're clearly meeting right now. So I, I don't know. Um, I'm almost sure that I saw that he was a, a, a bachelor. So I'm assuming Lilith is his mother. Gain the old journal unique item and discard the search token. The investigator holding the old journal can read through its entries by interacting with it in the app. Okay, so the old journal is considered evidence. This journal entry is in the culprit's own handwriting, and it's practically a confession. Uh, I don't know if that flavor text actually fits this scenario. Maybe it does. But either way, it is considered evidence, which seems like a good thing. And this app is telling me that I can interact with it through the app. It didn't say it requires an action. So I think possibly this is something that I can do right now. So I'm going to click on the backpack item. Click on this. Oh no, it is an action to read it. The Journal of Lilith Vanderbilt. The, the pages are torn and frayed. I'm pretty sure that's the action symbol there on read. So I'm going to cancel that for now and just remember that that's a thing that I can do uh, when I have more actions for mean. Okay, so that's her turn. Used up. So we've got this butler. I don't think he's useful anymore. Um, I guess I could click on him really quick just to see, to see what the app says. Please hurry, Mr. Vanderbilt is in danger. Yeah, okay, so he's he's in a loop now. He's just a, a dumb in, in NPC. We'll move him, uh, I don't know, down here somewhere. Okay, so I've got three characters who, who need need to contribute to this. We, we could go exploring over here in the kitchen, or we could go back out into the main room. I mean... I feel like we now know that we are headed for the attic. This door here, kind of in the north, uh, on the northwest side of the uh, the lobby there, the entry hall, kind of says to me that that's an attic door. I mean, I'm just imagining that. It could be the one over on the north east side of the room as well. I would love to ask someone who, who lives in the house and might know where all the doors are, but I'm thinking maybe maybe head up and open that door, and then head east and open that door, and just see. I mean, we need to stick together. I think there's a lot of strength in numbers. So rather than investigating any of this, as appealing as it is, I do want to reveal those search tokens. I've literally never searched in the kitchen. As many playthroughs as I've done of this scenario, I've never looked in the kitchen. So, uh, it, but in this case, like we, we just heard from the butler, get thee to the attic. Um, so we may as well just get to the attic. Let's send, uh, so it's going to take one, two actions just to get up there. The only person with that kind of mobility really is Rita. Because on a move action, rather than making, oh wait, no, wait, one, two. Oh, that, oh, so, so anybody could do that. Okay, you know what? One, two for Carson, no. <laughs> one, yeah, that's one move. It's two spaces, but one move action, one, two. And now he can open that door. The door leads deeper into the mansion. Well, that's kind of where I thought it would lead. <laughs> Does that mean it leads up? I want to go upstairs, so I'm, I don't know if I want to spend an action on that yet. Maybe, maybe I'm right. Maybe Rita needs to 
go in and do some Rita style investigation. Because she can get to that door lickety split. Because she has that one extra space per move. So she can take a space, a move, move one, move two, and then because she's Rita, move three. And then as her second turn, as her second action, and I need to remember that Carson still has an action remaining. So I'll put a little token by him. Okay, so I think I'll have Rita investigate this door now. I'm going to have her explore, and then I'll, I'll circle back and have uh, Carson explore. The door opens into a dim hallway that winds through the heart of the mansion. Okay. Place the hall corner to and hall end tiles as indicated and then discard all. Okay. So Carson isn't going to have to explore. Someone had to explore, but they both lead to the same place. That's convenient, actually. That's really convenient. And so now I need to add hall corner to and hall end tiles. A wooden desk stands against the wall. Place a search token as indicated. Someone acting in a hurry has knocked over a stack of papers. Place a search token as indicated. I should really keep my search token bucket a lot closer. Oh, I do. Here it is. Okay. Um, there's the papers. Three doors lead to other rooms of the mansion. Place explore tokens as indicated. You could use the surrounding furniture to barricade the door. Should the need arise, place a barricade as indicated. You may move one space into the explored area. Well, she may as well move, because uh, that's kind of a free a free action in a way. So she moved move one, move two, move three, and then she interacted with the door, and so she, she's now in. So now I can also have Carson move in here because he's still got this turn hanging out. He hasn't, he hasn't got, he could also investigate this painting. And I guess there's that thing with the telef the table with the telephone on it. But if he did that, he'd move and then he wouldn't be able to do anything else because he's already down one action. Although he can, he can, he can act, or is that just another investigator? His special power is another investigator can take a, a, another action. In this case, I don't think that's going to be very useful. Yeah, I think, I think, I guess I'll just have him move into that space. I don't know that that's very useful either, to be honest, but that's a thing he can do. I think I'm going to have Charlie pick up this knife in the dining room because he has nothing. And some, some, some weapon is better than just walking around this place with nothing. I mean, he's just seen an eldritch horror. I think he would... I think he would do that. So that's one action. And then as a second action, he'll move one, two into this space just to kind of join everyone else more or less. I think that's everything. I think that is kind of all of the... Oh, wait, he's got that action where he can give... He, he's got that... The His special ability is that he can give other people an action. So maybe Charlie should investigate this painting. It's close. So yeah, let's let's have him do that as his extra action. A mysterious painting of a landscape under the night sky overlooks the lavish entryway. Shadowy figures can be seen amidst the landscape. However, something in the stars catches your interest, and they're requesting a lore check. Okay, well, Charlie isn't known for his knowledge of lore. He's only got three dice in it. But let's, yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. Two successes. Easy. I mean, whether that's enough, I don't know. But it seems good. You identify several of the specks of light in the sky as planets. They are all occupying the same section of the sky as if coming into alignment, not unlike the planets in the sky tonight. What do you know? Beneath the painting, a plaque reads, In memory of Lilith Vanderbilt. Gain two clues. Wow. And then discard the search token. Well, that's not bad. Two clues goodness that's like really good so yeah i don't know how useful that was i mean that sounds like a bunch of just confirmation of what we already knew but i got two clues out of it so that's not bad okay so i'm ending the investigator phase we'll see what how, kind of horrible thing happens during the mythos phase filthy kitchenware and rotting food is strewn about the table this mythos event affects the investigators in the dining room or kitchen who has suffered the most horror 
Luckily, I moved everyone out of there. See, this is, uh, like I say, this is not, this is, this is a strategy game. Like, you have to, you have to keep your eye on the goal. If I had investigated the search tokens in the kitchen, this would, this could have been bad. So there's no effect there. No effect mythos phases. That's really, really rare. I feel like we made some okay progress there. I don't know how great all that progress was. I mean, we... We haven't found the attic, is my concern. And, and we've got Mean kind of hanging out in the office, not really sure what she's doing, but there's that lucky cigarette case that I'm after. So I don't know. I, I feel like we're we're well on our way, and we've had two nothing mythos phases, which is great. We'll pick it up next time, see if we can find that attic. Thanks for watching. You identify several of the specks of light in the sky as planets. They are all occupying the same section of the sky as if coming into alignment, not unlike the planets in the sky tonight. What do you know? Beneath the painting, a plaque reads, In memory of Lilith Vanderbilt. Gain two clues. Wow. And then discard the search token. Well, that's not bad. Two clues. My goodness. That's, like, really good. Uh, one, two... Yep, that's good. And discard the search token. So, yeah, I don't know how useful that was. I mean, that sounds like a bunch of just confirmation of what we already knew. But, um, but I got two clues out of it, so that's not bad. Okay, so I'm ending the investigator phase. We'll see what kind of horrible thing happens during the mythos phase. Filthy kitchenware and rotting food is strewn about the table. This mythos event affects the investigators in the dining room or kitchen who has suffered the most horror. Luckily, I moved everyone out of there. See, this is, uh, like I say, this is not, this is, this is a strategy game. Like, you have to, you have to keep your eye on the goal. If I had investigated the search tokens in the kitchen, this would this could have been bad so there's no effect there oh wow that's two no effect mythos phases that's really really rare what luck i feel like we made some okay progress there i, I don't know um i don't know I don't know how great all that progress was. I mean, we we haven't found the attic, is my concern. And, and we've got Mean kind of hanging out in the office, not really sure what she's doing, but there's that lucky cigarette case that I'm after. So I don't know. I, I feel like we're, we're well on our way, and we've had two nothing mythos phases, which is great. So we'll pick it up next time, see if we can find that attic. Thanks for watching.